In addition to our standard toolbar, another very important part is the main toolbar. So let's go over that in detail. The top button, the pink arrow, is our select tool. Our select tool consists of selecting an entire object or a portion of a group by selecting the open arrow. I should also mention that the little arrows in the corner of some of the buttons in the main toolbar mean that there are additional buttons hidden below that particular button. Simply clicking on the button and holding it down will show that particular option for that tool. Okay, the T is the text button. By clicking on the arrow, we see all the other text options. We have normal text, text on an arc, text on a path, vertical text, and vertical path text. The next button is our Bezier drawing tool. If you click on that, we also see the freehand drawing tool. The next button is our shapes tool. We have our rectangular or square shape, the ellipse or circle shape, the pentagon, star, the arc tool, and the arrow tool. The next button we have is the select points tool. Um, when you're working on a path, you can use that to edit the specific vector points. The next one is our auto trace button. Clicking on that button gives us all our auto trace functions. The next button is our welding tool. And when you click on that, the welding option is available and the cutout option is also available there. The next button down has many different options available, including outlining, creating cut lines around an object, the distortion tool, the shadow tool, the removing effects tool, and the unlinks effect. The next button down is the ruler button. The ruler button allows you to see the size of our particular object by dragging a, the ruler over it. And that is the main toolbar.